but one was really Princess Elizabeth's, so this was clearly a well-chosen gift. The news that Mr. Wilson, President of the Board of Trade, was to sign an Anglo-American Films Agreement with Mr. Eric Johnston, President of America's Motion Picture Association, was welcomed all round. It should mean a saving of dollars and, of course, a better exchange of films. The ceremony itself was thoroughly photographed and carried through with complete goodwill. Mr. Wilson had this to say. His Majesty's government welcomes this agreement, which, having due regard to our dollar difficulties, makes possible the renewed flow of films between the two countries. It holds out real prospects that our own films will now get a firm footing in the American market, and with this hope and the removal of the unsettlement surrounding the industry, uh, I look for a real all-out effort in British film production. Mr. Johnston added his comment. The war of films has been settled by mutual cooperation, goodwill and understanding just as all wars can be prevented on the same basis. This is not a Wilson victory or a Johnston victory. It is a victory for the American people and the British people. Now the British people will have an opportunity of seeing some excellent films, the best that Hollywood has ever produced.